Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to change your WordPress theme. So the first thing you need to do is to log into WordPress. So you go to where your blog's located. So just bring up the homepage for your blog. And then up the top here for the location for your blog, add to the end of it forward slash wp dash login dot php. If your site is your blog, it'll be your site.com forward slash wp dash login dot php. Now just log in with your admin details. Okay, so now we're on the dashboard for the administration. Now let's just bring up our blog so we can see what it looks like at the moment. Okay, so this is what our blog looks like at the moment. So that's the current theme. Now let's change the theme and see what this turns out to look like. Okay, so on the dashboard here, on the left here, just come down to Appearance, click the little drop down button here. And now you want to click Themes under Appearance, it's the top one, so just select Themes. Okay, now there's up the top here, you can see there's two tabs there's Manage Themes and Install Themes. So under the Manage Themes tab, which will be the default page that loads, you'll see that there's available themes. These are the themes you've already got installed on your blog that you can activate to be your active theme. If it's a fresh install, there'll only be like one or two here. And what you'll want to do is click install themes here. So let's select install themes as we want to install a new theme. Now there are a few different ways you can find and install new themes. If you've found a website that offers free WordPress themes and you've found one that you like and you've downloaded it, you can upload that theme by clicking upload here and then just click browse and then locate on your computer where you've got that theme saved to. And then once you've found that, just click install now and that'll upload the theme and install it for you. But to begin with, for most of you, you'll be using free themes in within WordPress and these are very easy to install and set up. So from the install themes page, which is the search feature, you can tick the features you want and find a theme based on features. So you can choose as colors, so you just tick the colors you want. Uh, let's say I wanted blue, black, and ones with those type of colors, and let's turn a green. Columns, we want two columns, and we want a left sidebar. Um, fixed width or flexible, let's go fixed. Features, we want a custom header, and that's the only feature from there, and subject I'm gonna leave. So let's find these themes. Okay, so that found no results. So I'm just going to select, leave the color. I'm going to select, I want a two column theme and click find themes. Let's see what this shows. Okay, so you can see this found 170 themes. So you can find themes that way. You can look at the themes here. Say you like the thumbnail for one of them. Say you like the look of this one because it's just plain. You can click preview here. That'll have a pop-up that shows you a preview of this blog or this, this theme. So that's just theme preview. So that's what the themes basic looks like. So the text is displayed. So that's a very plain theme, but that's how you preview it. And then just press this little cross in the top corner here to close it. Most of the time you won't use that search feature to find the theme you want. The better way to find a theme is to look at featured and newest. Let's have a look at the featured themes. This will list the featured themes for WordPress or the free ones. And all these themes are free, so you can install them freely for your blog. Okay, so let's just have a look through. So there's this top one, let's say you like this and you wanted to preview that, just click preview. Okay, so that's the theme preview. That's what it'll basically look like. So let's say you like that theme, but you're not sure if you're definitely gonna use it. You can install it anyway. So you just close that window, the preview window. Now for this theme, click install. So if you select install here, there'll be another pop-up menu. And that'll just pop up with basic details about this theme and show you the thumbnail image. So all you do now is click install now here, and this will install the theme, but won't activate it. So your blog will still be how it looks like this, but it's installed that theme. So you can preview the theme. If you click this preview here, it'll actually show what your blog will look like with this theme. So this will give you a preview of your blog using that theme. 
So you see there's my name I've used. And if I scroll down, it's got my sample posts. So that's the example of what your blog will look like using that theme. So just close that. And if you like that, you can click activate. But let's just re return to theme installer and have a look at some other themes. You can install as many themes as you want and then activate the one that you want or you like the most. So let's look at the newest themes, see what new themes are out. So you see a bunch of the themes here now, all the new ones. Say you like this one, you just click install the one you like, preview whichever ones you want. So I'm just going to install another one. Okay, so I like the look of that one, just click install. So that'll run the install now. So now what we're going to do is click back on themes here, but now it'll show the managed themes, which will have the newly installed themes we've had. So now you can see this theme we installed, and this one was also the other one, but it's still got the other themes here also. Let's say we wanted to activate this theme. So first you can click preview to see what your theme's going to look like once you've activated it to make sure that it's going to work and not screw up your blog. So that's what it's going to look like. Menu down the side, fix pages, text. Okay, so let's say I like that. You can click activate here or you can close this page and click activate on the actual theme. So it's this one, let's just click activate. So now this will be my active theme. So you can see how easy that was to install the theme and activate it. Now let's look at how much that actually changes your page for your blog. So let's refresh this page. And with a few clicks of activating a different theme, you can change the entire look of your whole blog. And it's that simple. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change it back to the theme I originally had, which was light word. So I'm just gonna activate this theme again. You see that successfully activated. Now refresh this again, it'll change back. So themes are very powerful and you can change the entire look of your site by just changing the theme. So they're all the free themes, but I want to quickly mention some paid themes. So if you come back to my site here for the tutorial on how to change your WordPress theme and scroll to the bottom of the tutorial page, you'll see under additional information, there's a link here to Rocket Theme WordPress. Now these, you have to pay to get access to these themes, but they're very good themes. So let's just have a look. So click Rocket Theme WordPress there. This will link you to the Rocket Theme page. So this is WordPress. Now let's just click a demo so that you can see a demo of the different WordPress themes. Now some of these themes that they have really change the look of WordPress and it makes it not look like a blog at all. Like this is using WordPress and this does not look like a normal blog. But you can see from clicking this drop down menu here on the demo site, you can see there's a bunch of different themes you can use. And if you mouse over, each theme will show you a basic example of what it looks like. I'm just going to choose this one, just for another example. So this is another theme they offer. So this is a WordPress theme you could set up for your blog. So this is basically what your blog would then look like, which is very different to a lot of the other themes you can get. Most of the time you'll get away with just using a um, free theme, but if you want a very complicated, nice looking theme that's easy to use but makes your blog look professional you can look at the rocket themes so if you want to sign up for their wordpress themes all you do here is just join today and then go through the sign up process so that's 50 dollars to have access to all their themes so that's rocket themes which are paid ones but usually you can just stick to the free ones and find one you like so that's all there is to themes they're very easy to install and give you a lot of control over what your blog looks like uh, quickly before I go, I'll just mention that once you've installed a theme, under Appearance, there will usually be theme settings. So if you click Light Word Settings here, because the name of the currently active theme is Light Word, so under Appearance and then there'll be the theme name and then Settings, you can click that. And this will give you the settings that the this theme offers. You can see there's not too many settings, and most of them you can ignore anyway, but there's basic settings like Layout, you've got Original, Wider, enable, disable, whatever that is, the code font settings. Usually you can leave this for most of the themes, but change it to what you want. Certain themes will allow you to customize them a lot using these settings here. Like I know WordPress themes do, uh, Rocket themes do, sorry. 
they have a lot of customizable settings you can use. But each theme will have different settings here and that's how you edit the WordPress theme settings and that's how you install WordPress themes. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.